Hello friends, welcome to this guide on how to catch Cresselia in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Okay friends, we're going to kick off in game on this Cresselia hunt. The first thing you want to be doing is heading over to Canalab City. And just bear in mind that this is post game content. So you're going to have to have completely leap four and obtain the national decks to do this. So once in front of the Pokemon Center in Canalab, I'm going to take a ride, come past the Pokemon Center, head past the first house, come to this second house, and this will be Sailor Eldritch's house. So um, this is where you want to go inside. Uh, you want to talk to the NPCs. Um, there's the mother there and then the boy as well who is in a very deep sleep and having terrible nightmares So I just ignore my repel here. We will knock one on just for the sake of it A uh, little boy thrashing about in torment and muttering dark dark is watching me So you want to head out the house and then come talk to Sailor Eldrick here and um, he does talk about um, uh, that going to full moon island to try and find a lunar feather uh, as he he believes that this is going to be the way to wake up his son, cure this inevitable sleep in the nightmares that he's suffering with. So uh, you hop on the ship and off you go. You're going to sail to Full Moon Island. And for those of you who played Diamond and Pearl, this is very true to how it uh, played out in the original. So once you're at Full Moon Island, you want to just take this path. It's not very difficult. You'll be able to find it no trouble. Come into this clearing here and here is Cresselia just waiting for this encounter. Now Cresselia isn't a static encounter so be aware that when you do uh, engage with it here you press A um, it's Cresselia is going to flee and it will start roaming around the Sinnoh area so it is a roaming Pokemon. Now you will be able to pick up the Luna Feather that Cresselia leaves um, and this is going to be what cures the boy and then really kind of completes the side quest but um if you want to check out where Cresselia is uh, on the map you need to get a Pokétech app that you can get um from Jubilife City you can get that upgraded um after a certain point in the game but if you're you're doing the Cresselia quest you'll you'll be post game so you'll be able to just go and grab that and you'll be able to see there'll be a little sprite on the map on the Pokétech device that, that shows you whereabouts in the region it is so you want to head back to the ship and um, tell the sailor that you've got the Luna Feather um, and he'll take you back to Canalav City and hoping, I'm guessing he's hoping at this time that it will cure his son who is, is having all these bad nightmares. So if you come back, you go into the house, this completes the kind of the, the quest here. You want to go up to the bed, just click A and uh, the feather will wake the boy up. Um, which is, like I say, ending the, this little side quest for obtaining uh, Cresselia in the Sinnoh region. So the next thing to do is just the case of going out to catch it. But we'll approach that in a minute. Um, you can speak to both these characters here. Mum thanks you. And then the boy has some interesting things to say. It was a scary dream. It was a dark place. And there was a dark Pokemon. But Mummy and Daddy, I could always hear your voices. Dark Pokemon. References to Darkrai there. Hopefully we do get a Darkrai event very soon. It'll be very exciting. So the next thing to do is go after Cresselia. As I say, it is a Roman Pokemon. Um, so it is going to have the kind of same mechanics as most other Romas that we'd witness in the Sinnoh region and other Pokemon games. Whereas when you encounter it, it is going to have the chance where it will just flee straight away, making it very difficult to catch. Giving you one opportunity to either attack it, put it to sleep, uh, status condition it, or throw a Pokeball at it. And as it is a legendary, it's going to have ridiculously high catch rate. So not the best way to approach it. Now, if you have seen my Lake Guardians guide, uh, I show you how to catch Mesprite uh, in an effective way. And that is by using Wobbuffet. So Wobbuffet is available to catch in Verity Lake. Uh, you can go to the patch of grass that's in the bottom right hand corner of that area and use the poker radar and Wobbuffet is a poker radar only encounter so that's how you would obtain it now you want to be going to Lake Verity because it is a higher level there than it is at the other lakes uh, once you've got it you want to put it at the start of your party and you will be good to go uh, to go after these Roman Pokemon or going after Cresselia like we are in this one today and the fact that we're just using Warbuff, it just means that when we encounter Cresselia eventually, we will be able to trap it, it won't be able to flee, and we'll have a bit of, of a better opportunity to, to catch it. So we want to be going, the next step is to try and locate it on the map, 
There is a nice method that we use here where we run between Route 205 and the Valley Windworks, which is next to Flamora Town. And literally all you want to do at this stage is have your Pocotec act open like we've got and run between the two areas, between Route 205 and the Valley Windworks. And every time you change location, you'll notice that the Sprite, so Cresselia on the map, will change location as well. Um, and what we want to be doing is running between the two areas until the Sprite is in the exact same area that we are in. And then we can go onto the, the, the patches of grass and try and encounter it, and then we can try and catch it. If you just decide to chase around the map, it's going to take you a lot longer to do because every time you go into a new area and you route, it will change location. So if you fly to where it is located, it's just going to move to a new area. So you're going to be playing cat and mouse around the map continually, whereas this way, at least you can kind of run into an area where it's potentially going to be located in next time it moves. Okay, now finally Cresselia has appeared in the Valley Windworks, which is great. You can see on the Pokotep it is in the exact same area we are. Just want to enter the grass at this stage and then hope we encounter it. And by the looks of things, it is Cresselia, yes. So we do have Cresselia. The war buffet that we've got at the start of our party, although it's not the same level as Cresselia, it will mean that it is unable to flee the battle and we can just either go forward, damage back onto it with, with Miracord or uh, counter, which we're going to have to do here for Cresselia because Cresselia only has access to physical type attacks. So if you are doing this method, it's best just to click that counter button straight away and hope you get damage onto Cresselia. The other thing to consider in this hunt is uh, War Buffet, you can either do it one of two ways. You can either have a bunch of potions with you where you can heal War Buffet up. Uh, so every time you take damage, you're healing it back up just to kind of soak up the damage from Cresselia. So you keep that trap on it to the point where you've got enough health to take the next attack and use that time to throw Pokeballs at it. Or you get damage off where you can on Cresselia and just let War Buffet faint, giving you access to bring in another Pokemon. And preferably this Pokemon has something like Hypnosis, Spore, Sleep Powder, or something like that. They can put Cresselia to sleep and, and, and put that status affliction onto it. Because once it does flee, you're gonna get one turn to do that. And then it will flee once the trap is broken. Um, and once that happens, um, you'll have to locate Priscilla again but the next time you encounter it it's it's going to carry over that status condition and it's going to carry over all the health that's already been lost from this battle so uh, you're not kind of losing gains there uh, the next time you encounter Cresselia whatever you can inflict on it this time around it'll have those same afflictions when you encounter it the next time as well so if we can wear it down a bit now put it to sleep potentially if War Buffer gets knocked out we've got Bronzong sitting in the back waiting to come in with Hypno hopefully we hit and then the next time we encounter it if we fail to capture it this time then we'll be in a much better position going into that second encounter against Cresselia so like you see War Buffett does get taken out unfortunately but we have chipped Cresselia down pretty well here um, and like I was saying about the status condition if we can put it to sleep it increases our chances to um, to catch it. It's tempting to throw another ball at it here but at the same time it's probably better off uh, in the long run just to put it to sleep because as you're going to see here it, as the trap's gone Cresselia even though it is asleep it will still flee from the battle so we have to start the process over again running in between the Valley Windward and route 205 um, and hopefully it doesn't take too long to encounter it again so back at it and going into route 205 this time around Cresselia has popped up in the same area here so we can go into this long grass hopefully we encounter it and it looks as though this first encounter is going to be the Cresselia here we've healed up our war buffet so we've got it back at the start of the party we've got that trap locked on it and now because it is asleep it's taking a lot of damage we can't damage it with war buffet at the minute the only thing to do is throw pokeballs at it or ultra balls in our case and hope that we can catch it and now we're going in with our third attempt here it's still asleep so hopefully this is the one we get one two three and we got it we got Cresselia so that is a nice catch in the uh, brilliant diamond and shining pearl and it's one of the legendaries kind of ticked off for that pokedex so if you have found this guide useful friends which I hope you have uh, 
please consider dropping a like on the video it really helps it out it helps it get it about to help other players uh, obtain Cresselia if they're not aware how to get it already and consider subscribing to the channel if you do enjoy this sort of content because we've got a boatload of brilliant diamond chain and pearl content on the way we're getting through it slowly but we've still got a lot to cover in these games and there'll be a lot more over the coming months as well as you can see we've got Cresselia just walking behind us which is great Cresselia was definitely one of my favorite legendary Pokemon it is a very cool Pokemon never gets the love it deserves um but hopefully with a brilliant diamond and shannon pearl format kind of coming into effect it'll probably see a lot more play so hope you've enjoyed the guide friends we're going to wrap it up there thanks so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye